Grace and peace to you, beloved. Amy Wilson Feltz here. I am the pastor of St. Paul's United Methodist Church here in El Paso, Texas. And thank you so much for joining me for coffee on this Wednesday morning. Today is the day before our Thanksgiving holiday here in the United States. And while the origins of that tradition are certainly complex, it has become for many of us the opportunity to give thanks for our lives and for what we enjoy in them. And so I could join in here and offer gratitude for my partner, Jason, and for our wonderful kids, Natalie, Augustus, and Olivia, who teach us so much in this rich and simple life that we enjoy together. I could also give thanks for our St. Paul's community. In fact, that's what I want to do specifically this morning as I offer some gratitude for a Thanksgiving initiative in which we have participated over the past several weeks. We were able to form a partnership um, years ago with a couple of other United Methodist churches, Vista Isleta and St. Luke here on the east side of El Paso. And one of the things that we have done is literally share a table with our neighbors. It started a couple of years ago with a Thanksgiving meal, a community meal, and we continued that last year and we're hoping to do the same again this year. And of course, with the pandemic, we decided that was not a viable option. So we began thinking of other ways that we could share a table, so to speak, with our neighbors. And we worked with three local schools, Burgess High School, MacArthur Intermediate School and Eastwood High School. We worked with the administrators there to identify families in our neighborhood who would benefit from a cooperative effort like this so that we could share a Thanksgiving meal in a different way. And along the way, we were able to work with our congregations and invite donations to provide those meals. Many of you participated around the country, not just in El Paso. And so thank you for your generosity. And we also were able to form partnerships with the Cielo Vista Neighborhood Association and with Representative Cassandra Hernandez of District 3 in El Paso uh, to make this initiative a reality. And we are so excited to say that more than six dozen families will be enjoying Thanksgiving meal in their homes because of this initiative. So thank you. And as I have been thinking about the way all of this came together this year and full of gratitude in my own heart, a passage came to mind from Acts chapter 4. Now this is the story of the early church. And we find this description again in Acts chapter 4. I'd like to read part of it with you today. Acts chapter 4, beginning in verse 32. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions. But everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned land or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid the proceeds at the apostles' feet and they were distributed to each as any had need. This is the word of God for the people of God. And so we say, thanks be to God. Now this is talking about a specific circumstance and certain things can come to mind when we read this passage, but it was encouraging to me to think about ways that we are invited to share with one another and to support one another in our needs, our basic human needs that we all have. And so when I envision our Thanksgiving initiative this year, I'm thinking about a shared table. Yes, we're all eating in our individual homes, 
our individual dwelling places. But if you think about all of the people who participated in making the initiative possible and all of the people who will be enjoying those meals, we're talking about hundreds of people in our neighborhood who are sharing a table, so to speak. And so I give thanks for that. And I also give thanks for the many opportunities that are to come for us to continue to form relationships in our neighborhoods, with our local schools, with the neighborhood associations, with our local civic leaders. And I am so excited to see what God has in store for those kinds of efforts. They've been ongoing for many years in different ways, and I'm just giving thanks this morning for being able to take part in that as the pastor of St. Paul's United Methodist Church on Edgemere and as a resident of the Cielo Vista neighborhood and as a citizen in this world that God has given us. Many good things are happening in the midst of our trials and our struggles and we can be of one heart and one soul just as they were in the early church and for that I am so thankful. Hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving tomorrow and a wonderful rest of the week. And I look forward to being with you here again for Coffee with Pastor Amy next Wednesday. Grace and peace.